All right, Brock Purdy, Brandon Ayuk, let's talk about it. I had to do another video here from Sutro Baths, Land's End, San Francisco. What a perfect November day in the city. How lucky we are to be able to call this home. I mean, November, this is crazy. It's 70 degrees, I'm about to go swim in that water. I'm probably not gonna swim all the way out to the Farallone Islands. Actually, I'm gonna swim in the bay. Probably a little too shark infested right behind me. Anyway, the, the 49ers got some sharks, obviously on the defensive line where they had 38 pressures yesterday, but we just got to talk more about Purdy and Ayuk. This this one-two punch for the 49ers offense, and I, I get it, they got a lot of one-two punches. They've got Purdy and Christian McCaffrey, who I wrote about last week. That's obviously something worth checking out right now, but Brandon Ayuk has been the second most efficient receiver in football behind only Tyreek Hill. And Tyreek Hill has been historically efficient this year. So, you know, tip your cap to, to Tyreek. He, he's been awesome. I think in any other year, Brandon Ayuk would be number one. Brock Purdy is overseeing an offense that has everybody on track for, for career production. Christian McCaffrey over 2,000 all-purpose yards and, and more efficiency than he had in Carolina. Brandon Ayuk on pace for 1,500 receiving yards. George Kittle, way over 1,000 receiving yards. I think that in the case of Kittle, maybe you don't have the same raw yardage totals as he did back in 2018. But again, efficiency is everything. And the fact that this is all happening under the umbrella of an offense that has so many different mouths to feed, so many different weapons to satisfy, it's unreal. And Debo Samuel, even though he's missed a little bit of time, he's close to a 1,000-yard pace this season. So... I mean, this is this is something else if you look at the 49ers offense, and it's Brock Purdy who's playing that point guard role at such a high level. And point guard is not a pejorative term. That's just how football works. That's just how a good, healthy offense works. He's got to distribute the football to all these players. Behind an offensive line that hasn't been great for the 49ers, they gave up a lot of pressure yesterday, especially on the inside. But Brock Purdy is averaging 9.1 adjusted net yards per attempt. That includes sacks, that includes touchdown passes, that includes interceptions. It's a really good stat. It's actually the most correlated stat that there is with the NFL MVP award. The only two full season numbers that have been higher prior to this are 2004 Peyton Manning at 9.7 adjusted net yards per attempt and 2011 Aaron Rodgers at 9.4 adjusted net yards per attempt. So Purdy's right there at number three. He's got to carry it through the rest of November and then December, the rest of the season. We get that. But all we can evaluate so far is what Purdy has done so far. And it has been absolutely spectacular. By the way, I know this is going to be a lunch with Lombardi. So speaking of absolutely spectacular, I had a really, really good sandwich today. I went to a new spot. I went out to the Outer Richmond District. You can tell I'm in the Outer Richmond or up past the Outer Richmond. I'm at Land's End at this point. But... I went to Lou's Cafe on Geary in the Outer Richmond. And this place, the Amicado Sandwich, first off, they had the Dutch Crunch, which is that San Francisco Bay Area specialty. They had it rolling. And I, I got hungry as soon as I got in line. And then the Amicado, it's got pastrami and salami on it. And that combination of meat with the avocado, and then they've got their garlic sauce. San, San Francisco is probably the best city in the world for sandwiches. and. Loose Cafe in Outer Richmond did not disappoint. Then you get to come out here. So we're talking quality ingredients. The 49ers have all of those on their offense. Brock Purdy is the player who's and the you know just that that point man who has to make sure that all the mouths get fed. And he's doing I mean such an efficient job. Again, you, you can't really overstate how how good he's been. How good he's been compared to. All the other young quarterbacks in the league, especially. I mean, head and shoulders above all the other young quarterbacks in the league, if you look at some of the data there. But when you compare him against NFL greats, well, only guys like Aaron Rodgers from his prime, Peyton Manning from his prime, Kurt Warner from his prime stack up. As far as standard yards per attempt since the NFL merger in 1970, the only better season than Brock Purdy so far is Kurt Warner's in 2000. That's the greatest show on turf Rams. So, so much for the whole dink and dunk narrative. Brock Purdy and this 49ers offense, they're doing stuff that the greatest show on turf Rams did. That That's the comparison right now. Purdy with the perfect rating yesterday. 
Well, that's that's stuff that the 89 49ers did, but maybe they didn't even do that in 89 because Purdy had more attempts, right? Purdy had 25 attempts. Montana had only 19, and Steve Young only had 12 that season. But what's most, you know, the, the most context you could put on this is the price tag, in my opinion. You could talk about the efficiency till the cows come home, but consider that Brandon Ayuk, number two rated receiver, and Purdy, the number one rated quarterback, consider that their combined cap hit this year is less than $5 million, okay? So Brock Purdy has a cap hit of, what, 800,000, maybe 900,000, it's less than a million. Brandon Ayuk is less than four million. It's like 3.8 or $3.9 million. So the 49ers are getting a wide receiver quarterback duo for less than five million, and they are at the highest levels of production. They're, they're at a historic level of production. They're at the top of the NFL. Market rate for this would be 40 to 50 million for the quarterback and a good 25 to 30 million for the receiver, right? So market rate for this would be at least $70 million. 49ers are getting it at less than $5 million. So they're getting, they're getting this at, at less than 10% of the cost, right? I mean, this, it's, it's absolutely staggering to see how the 49ers have been able to build this roster thanks to cost efficiency from players they drafted. Brandon Ayuk in the first round of 2020 and then Brock Purdy in the seventh round of 2000 and 22. Obviously the time to pay up is approaching. And yesterday in the locker room, the funny story was that as the media was surrounding Brandon Ayuk, George Odom walked by and said, that's a $20 million receiver right there. And then Trent Williams, three seconds later, walked by and said, nope, that's a $25 million a year receiver right there. So production earns you some money in the NFL. And Brandon Ayuk is set up for a large payday given how good he's been this year. I mean, the separation stats, the yak stats, he is an outlier in the league this year. And now the raw stats are catching up too. Whenever you have a game with 150 receiving yards on only five catches, well, uh, you're gonna be you're gonna be making up some ground in that regard as well. He's on pace for a 1,500 yard season. And on top of that pace, I think he's on track for a nice large payday. And I think it's gonna have to come from the 49ers because they want to keep this group together. These guys are, this nucleus is in the midst of its prime and the prime can still last several more seasons based on the ages of these players because the 49ers did such a good job with uh, some of these draft picks and just the timing of, of, of how all this is hit. Well, the 49ers are, are going to be willing to, to maneuver around with the salary cap to pay their A-listers because that is the formula. Paying A-listers Brock Purdy A-lister, Brandon Ayuk A-lister. The first one you're gonna have to take care of though is Brandon Ayuk. All right, so long from Land's End where it is colorful, where it is beautiful, where the background almost looks fake. But I promise you it isn't because my shadow there is in the background. Everybody take care.